Okay, let me put it this way. <clears throat> Here's how you know that Star Wars is fantasy, whereas Star Trek is science fiction. Take the longest time span we have depicted in Star Trek. Uh, and I'm going classic Trek. I'm going to go up through Enterprise. I'm not going to go with the new movies. And I'm not going to go with the new series. But the biggest time frame of the difference in time frame we have depicted in Star Trek is the late 22nd century. Wait, no. Late 21st century. Because if we include First Contact, then going back in time to meet Zephyr Cochran. Late 21st century through the late 21st third right with with the enterprise d so roughly two two and a half uh, like 200 250 years something like that okay take a 250 year time frame and look at the difference in technology from zephram cochran to jean-luc picard it's un it's incomparable for every civilization the technological development is the story. Now, that's sci-fi. That's sci-fi. That's 100% science fiction. Okay, compare that to Star Wars. Take literally any 250-year time frame in Star Wars and look and see what are the technological changes. Different ship designs, usually. Um, maybe a new powerful super weapon, but not more powerful than those that have come before. Not really. Um, but that is, again, equivalent to most fantasy tropes of there being this big new thing that is as big and bad as the, the old new big bad thing. Okay. Um, there are very occasional advances, very occasional advances in technology, in specific technologies. Um, hyperdrives get slightly faster. So again, technology today is the same over the course of thousands of years. That's exactly what you'd expect to see in a fantasy story. Right? Think Lord of the Rings. The technology, so to speak, the level of advancement is the same or declining over the course of the beginning of the Age of the Sun all the way through to the destruction of the Ring at the end of the Third Age. <clears throat> it's all it's all high well, high medieval rather than late medieval. Uh, technology, roughly speaking. Some of it is elevated in some sense, but none of it is, none of it develops beyond that, aside from aside from the Shire. The Shire has some interesting sort of post-Renaissance uh, early modern innovations, but that's, that's, they're weird. Hobbits are funny like that. But yeah, no, it's, uh, it, it's very much a fantasy series. Uh, it's a fantasy story because, and you can again tell this because of the technological stasis, which I really love for the purpose of storytelling. A, a, a civilization that has hit a technological plateau, it allows you to focus on much more human issues. Human, or whatever, humanoid. Um, whereas Star Trek, the, the driving factor for the storytelling is not the fact that you know, people are changing and coming into conflict with one another and developing in new ways and society and culture is changing. All of the social and cultural changes are driven by the advancement of technology. That's what the stories are about in Star Trek. They're always about finding this new thing. We're discovering this new thing or figuring out this new thing. What do we do with this new thing? What does this new thing have to say about us? That's sci-fi. Fantasy is who are we? What do we do? How do we interact with each other? What is our purpose? Those are the bigger questions, and those are the ones that fascinate me, and that's why I prefer sci-fi, or for, prefer fantasy to sci-fi almost universally. That's why I prefer Star Wars to Star Trek. 